Today I'm covering three different pull-up bar options for your home gym if you're using a minimalist setup like I am. So these three setups will include a door frame option, a door option, as well as a standalone pull-up bar that you can get as the main three that I focus on for my home gyms. Now, of course, there's tons of other cages and stuff you can throw into a garage, but this is more for people who maybe just own an apartment or don't wanna take as much space up in their homes that just wanna get in, get out with doing their pull-up routines. So the first one I mentioned is the door frame pull-up bar. Now, personally for me, I go the expensive route and have the cross grips by JFlex. These are two little handles that you can just put on the top of the frame of the door and do pull-ups that way. I've had these for years and years and years now, and they are awesome and by far my most recommended pull-up piece of equipment. Before that, I did have things like the perfect pull-up, which is still great. It's one of those ones you kind of slide over the door. The only problem is you have to watch out for the front of it pushing into the door frame and leaving dents and black markings. But some of them have some protection against that, have like little foam pads that protect against that. So you might want to find those options if you can, but just watch out for that. If you buy those uh, standard like black felted ones on the ends, you just want to make sure that that's not rubbing off on your door frame or causing other door damage. But when it comes to those cross grips, there is nothing better in my opinion. Simply it goes on the top of the door frame um, and you can go up to 250 pounds. So if you're over that, you're gonna have an issue. But if you don't break that 250 pound limit, you can use these very easily. Just make sure of course that your door frame can support whatever um, bar that you choose. Otherwise you will find that the frame breaks and you crash to the ground, which I don't want to happen. Now next up is a new one for me and one that scares me a bit. And I didn't make my review on it yet because I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it or not, but that is the Sport Near um, door pull-up bar. So this one still uh, it uses the frame, but not the same way. You don't wrap it around it, you kind of press against it instead. So as I mentioned, you kind of use the force against the siding of the door, so the frame of the door, to keep it in place. Now I did buy one of these a long time ago and instantly returned it after it wouldn't stick and it just wouldn't work in my door frame. However, I did try the one here and it does work. Um, so I actually was able to get it to stay and stick in the door. But I can't, like, I don't know, there's something about it where I just do not trust the thing. Um, it feels stable every time I use it and put it in there and test it out. But I don't know, there's something just mentally I just cannot do it without thinking I'm going to crash to the ground. So it's just something I don't think I can keep. It's not something like the cross grips where I feel much safer, even if it is still a door frame thing. Um, but it's one of those ones because it's not hooked around anything or whatnot. It feels like it's just in space and could just let go at any time. So again, mine is the Sport Near, which does have a range. You can go from about 29 to 37 inch door frames. So if yours fits that, it will be able to support that. Just do know, it says it could support up to 400 pounds. However, that depends on how much you have extended or retracted the pull-up bar itself. The more you have to extend it, the less um, it can support in terms of weight. So just look it up on the site before you jump into that. Um, that way you're not setting it up really wide and thing you can do it, we can only support like 135 pounds or something. For me, it could support, I think it was still like 350 pounds when I looked it up online. Um, so I was well under that, but just know, make sure whatever door frame you're using, that it supports the weight. Now the last option I have is a standalone pull-up bar, and this is the big bar from Base Blocks. Now this thing, um, I had some pros and cons with it. I still think the handles themselves are a little too thick and a little too slippery, and I would like them to change that. But otherwise, this bar is great. Um, it allows me to do pull-ups from home. I don't have to use my door at all. Um, it doesn't take up too much space. I actually just leave it in my closet, which is in it right now, holding on to my, it looks like my J-hook handles are on top of it right now, um, which I actually use as hammer handles for it since it doesn't have any. Um, but do know that that thing is pretty awesome um, otherwise. It's a really good pull-up bar if you're looking for one. The only problem is it is expensive. So with these three options, they do change in price. You'll find that actually the Sportnir is the cheapest one of all. Um, if I look it up right now, if I pull this up in the system, I paid only 40 bucks for the whole thing. Um, yeah, $40 for that product, the Sport Near one, which again is the scariest of the bunch. However, the cross grips come in at around 100 to 120, somewhere in there. Um, you can use code GamerBot to save 15% off your order if you get from the JFlex website. Um, but the base blocks one, the big bar is around $245 last time I looked. So it is pricey, but again, you're not damaging your door frame at all. You just have to make sure you protect your floor with either a rug or some kind of padding. So those are my three options on apartment style living when do, trying to do pull-ups. Yes, there are maybe other options out there. So those are kind of the three with a bonus four if you look at the kind of wraparound um, door frame pull-up bars that you can go with and work very, very well. What I would like to see in the future though is a cheaper and smaller option when it comes to doing pull-ups that are standalone and don't require a door frame. 
So something that could support like um, maybe five plus hundred pounds um, that isn't too wide and could fit in something like my sock closet here, that would be amazing. Um, Cause again, this one does take up a bit of space if you don't have the closet space for it. And the price is just absurd. I really don't wanna pay more than like $150 for one of these. If anyone could do it for like a hundred bucks, something that could support like 400, 500 plus pounds, um, and just only the pull-ups really, I'd be ecstatic to test it out and try it. Um, everything that's come out recently is like 400 plus dollars. Um, things like um, the Fit Home Gym, that one that's out there that has its own base platform, 500 plus dollars. Um, the bull bar that I had before that broke, but they made a new version, that one's also 400 plus dollars. So everything's just so expensive. I really just want a pull-up bar that's like 100 to 150 dollars, that's smaller than this one, and can support that amount of weight. If anyone can make that, that is what I'm looking for, and I will des definitely try to uh, test it out. If you find that, leave in the comments. I'll be glad to buy it and try it out for my home gym. So those are the options I have here. Take a look at them, see if they work for your home gym. And if you do buy anything from any of the links or use code GamerBody for 15%, it does go back into the GamerBody channel to help make more videos like this in the future.